Hi guys, Nick here from TechnicLogic.com and today I'm gonna show you the special device Mi Max which is the next big for the company. So before the video gets started, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the right icon down below which will definitely going to help the YouTube channel to grow. So coming to the front side of the device, at the top, you will see the 5 megapixel shooter beside it, the LED notification and different sensors with EOPs. Coming below, you will see the massive large 6.44 inch full HD display and also covers with Gorilla Glass 3. Xiaomi has entered in the new market for this phablet or we can say a phone. I don't know what it is exactly because the screen size is 6.44 inches. Coming below, you will find the capacitive back keys which won't light up. Coming to the down portion of the device, you will find two speaker grills and one micro USB which support the fast charging up to 2 amp and from both the speaker grills only one is having the actual speaker and another one is having the primary mic over there coming to the right side of the device you will see the chamfered edges which seems really very beautiful as they have given a special curve from upper as well as the lower side and you will also find the volume rockers and the power lock key which gives really tactile and haptic feedback coming to the left side of the device you will see the sim tray slot which is a hybrid sim play and can support two nano sims or one nano sim plus one micro sd card to up to 128 gb coming to the top side of the device you will see the 3. 5 mm audio jack beside it the IR blaster and a secondary noise cancellation mic coming to the back panel of the device you will see the 16 megapixel camera which support uh, different uh, features which I'll explain later and uh, beside it the dual tone LED flash and uh, below that you will find the fingerprint sensor which looks similar to the redmi note 3 and is pretty accurate below that you will find the mi logo so this is the device interface right now it is on miui 7 not an miui 8 because it is not officially released so the notification panel is almost same coming to the setting of the device going into themes you can change different themes like you can see in uh, different miui devices coming to the text size of the device you can uh, change the text size to large medium double XL and even XL which is too large I think small will be best for me or medium or when we come to the display you can adjust the brightness level you can even enter into the reading mode using which the screen gets some yellow tint over there due to which it won't be affecting your eyes while you are reading some novel or some kind of ebook over there you can also add double tap to wake and auto rotate from there you can change the color contrast and on the automatic center or you can set it manually it depends on you like cool mode standard mode and different other moving further you can also have the child mode which you mostly see in all miui versions coming to the additional setting and the best part of this uh, phablet or we can say the biggest phone the next big from xiaomi you is having the 100 use using which you can select different screen sizes over there like 4.5 inches 4 inches or 3.5 inches as per your usage and you can also select it automatically just swipe it from right to left in the capacitive keys and you will get the 100 use just enter over there and you can use the device 100 uh, on the particular corner which you have selected so moving further to the additional setting coming to the battery point it is having the beast battery as well with this kind of size and these feature which is 4850 MAH which is pretty good the device also supports 2 amp fast charging which Zenfone Max won't support so here it is having the edge over here coming to the storage of the device this device which I am having right now is a 32GB variant out of which you are getting about uh, 25.06 and this one will price you about 15,000 coming to the processor of the device it comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 650 processor which is a hexagon processor and the GPU it comes with is Adreno 510 which is good the RAM it comes with is 3GB and it is also having one more a variant which is a snapdragon 652 variant in which you are getting 128 gb of storage and 4 gb of ram which is going to be available soon and coming to the camera interface of the device so when i just open up the camera and there are different modes like panorama mode manual mode which was not there in the previous devices and you can also set different uh, things like uh, adding watermark and different other things when you come to the setting part of the device you can see i can open up the grid lines you can just uh, remove the gps tag and uh, change the image quality to high you can change the image uh, resolution to 16 by 9 as well i don't like 4 by 3 and coming to the video part of the device you can record the video up to 4k and uh, change different settings you can even make 
like the uh, slow motion videos and time lapse video which we see in a layer device as well overall the device is pretty good these are my views what are your views just share it by commenting down below so that's it for the video guys thanks for watching if you want to see more of this stuff be sure to hit the like button and do comment and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter and make sure to check out my other youtube videos so see you guys in my next video till then see ya and keep rocking